Well, hello friends and followers. So I've been trying to clean up my home office here since my stay in the hospital and it's a pretty big mess. So the objective here was to get radios off the floor and that's not going so well. As you can see, there's lots of radios on the floor, but I could trip on these. So I want to get them up off the floor. At any rate, a little tour of duty here. Here's the World War II radio again, which is working pretty well. There's the uh, carry box for it, the, the chassis box. I want to get it back in there soon and get it off the floor and at least get it into one piece. That's a uh, Tentec Paragon 1. It works pretty well. I'm happy with it. This radio is a troublemaker. This is a uh, Henry Tempo 1. I can't get it to load up on 80 meters or 40, I can't get any drive. And there's a couple coils in it for 80 and 40 that when I adjust them for a good receiver, I can hear well, but when I try to give them drive, they won't work until I turn the coils to a uh, good transmit and receive goes out. So uh, I gotta fix that. That's, it's, uh, I'm not sure why it does that. And I guess the biggest mess in the room is this dynamotor for the uh, World War II radio. I, I put battery cables on it but I want to get these, this dynamotor lubricated and put back in its case. I'm tired of it being on my floor. This room is a trip hazard, so it's got to get cleaned up. So it's cleaned once in a while. Once the radio projects are done, it'll be clean. There's some drake pieces there. At any rate, so I've been working on the TR-7, trying to get it off the floor here. It's been sitting there for like a week or so, and I just want to get it kind of more done. So. This radio, I will nickname the Ashtray because the guy that had it was a total smoker. I wouldn't surprise, be surprised if the guy died of lung cancer, and that's why I have this radio. Anyway, people are always afraid to change this light side here. Uh, better discharge myself. They're always afraid to change this, take this board out because it's difficult, so... This is my second TR7. I had one before that wasn't as new as this one. It didn't have the split back modification, which is, I guess, is right here. So let's talk about how to get this little board out here. So this board, as you can see, is the dis display board. And from what my friend Pete tells me, it has two functions. One is display. And there's another function intrinsic to the uh, transceiver, which I'm not sure what Pete meant, but Pete is a very advanced radio guy. I am simply a technician, but if you look at the bottom of the board, it doesn't plug into many places. Okay, it's got like four plugs, it looks like, down here. One, two, three, four. Yeah, four plugs. There's four friction points. Anyway, when this board is all rigged in here, all I did, and I had a hook made for it, but I couldn't find the hook in my junk box, so I went into the coat closet and I uh, fashioned a hook, and this worked really, really well. So I got a, a coat hanger from the cleaners and I just unbent the curly thing on top. And part of my rationale was I might want to put this back in the closet because how often am I going to pull this board out? So anyway, I uncurled it and then I made a little hook just like that. And wow, does that work good. It, it really, really works. And then you have the, uh, you know, more leverage in this board to pull it out. So I simply hooked it right here. And I was surprised. It wouldn't budge, and I kept pulling on it you know, a little harder, a little harder. And suddenly it flew out of here. <laughs> it just went kaboom. So that's how I hooked it right there. And this is, I guess, is where you hook them. And it looks like they have the summation of all the friction of this thing. And a, the, the people that um, designed this were like four or five kids out of college. And if you read the Drake history, Milt, Milt didn't do much in this thing. Milt would... Milt Sullivan debugged some of the worst problems I had with this thing as far as, I don't know, Smith chart stuff, but um, the, the four, four or five graduates are the ones who really designed this thing. Anyway, you can see that hole is probably a balance in the middle of all these friction points, so it, you know, it, it's a good hole to use, and it pretty much probably exerts the same amount of, of force on each of these plugs to pull them out, and the thing flew out of here. It didn't really bend it. It just came out. So I was worried it would have bent things, but oh, so now changing the bulb. 
I got some pinball bulbs for this thing, which aren't the greatest, but they're, you know, China bulbs, and they're LEDs. They have a weird bluish cast to them, but I don't care because this thing uh, has a bluish, you know, an aqua cast because of the Drake filters anyway, so I don't really care if the bulb's a little screwy looking. I'm just going to try it out, so I can illuminate this, I think. See what I mean? So the bulb is sort of that color anyway, so I guess it's not going to hurt. Anyway, so you just put the bulb back in. And go like that. The bulb goes here. And that slips under the socket here, and you simply put things back together. So when you're in here, you might as well muck around with the uh, PTO to get it serviced. And so I've been doing that. And... The first thing I do with the PTOs is I get a Q-tip and I try and sop out all the old grease with a Q-tip. So that's what I did here with this PTO. Just used a Q-tip and, and you put the Q-tip against the bearings and the bearings, can I get a picture of them in here? I don't think I can, but okay, where are they? Yeah, there they are. So you, you want to get a Q-tip in here against the bearings. And you see that cute, the bearings and the Q-tip? You do that about 10 times until the muck comes off these things. And then you put the Q-tip on these threads, get all the crap off of those. And then once you're done, I use some uh, synthetic grease on there to fix it up. And to show you what comes out of this thing, you can see the uh, tips are all black with gunk. That's the kind of grease that is on these things. So that's what I'm getting off. Lovely, huh? So you want to get all that crap out of there. All right, and now when it's time to grease this thing, some guy wrote on a forum, some really smart guy a while back, two years ago, he wrote to get this grease. And I've probably fixed about 18, 19 drakes with this grease. It's, it's wonderful grease. Let's find it for you here. Here it is. So this stuff is the cat's meow, meow, meow. This is LB8034, is synthetic, and it's what I use to uh, lubricate the PTO gears on the Drake. Of course, you don't want to use it on the plastic gears. Do not do that. Don't lubricate the plastic gears with anything. Leave them alone. And just lubricate the uh, steel stuff in here, okay? That's about it. So all these Drakes have a little metal um, wire, like right here, on them. And that's because this little fork here can wiggle around and change the inductance so that little wire was a fix for tuning stability when you're tuning and this one has one what else can i say about this drake i don't know i i know that um w2aeh or his name is he sells a bunch of pots to replace these or a board i, I think it's like a vr board or regulation board here all those pots go flaky i haven't tried to uh muck with these yet at all i'm just starting out here and I've already cleaned the band switch through here. You've seen that in previous videos, but I just picked the radio back off the floor because I want to get it off the floor and somewhat finished. Um, on the agenda tonight also is cleaning up the uh, muck in the front of this thing. So Mr. Smoker here, this radio is nicknamed the ashtray. So I want to get some of the ashtray stuff off of here, get this stuff all cleaned up tonight. That'll be Q-tips and a little bit of love and care. I will take all the knobs off tonight and put those in the sink, and I'll probably use some uh, model paint to uh, get these white little lines all set up. And what else am I gonna do? I probably won't get to the final tonight, but man, oh man, if you look at the crud in the final, it's uh, really crazy, so. You can see all the muck inside this final cage. I'll, I'll just get a shop back and try and rip out what I can with a shop back, all that stuff, and then Things that are still there, maybe as a Q-tip over a few days and try and muck them out once in a while. So, you know, slow and easy. This is not a race. What you want to end up with is a working radio, not something blown up because you were in a hurry. So that's how you do it. And I think while I'm in here a bit, um, any pots I can reach down here, I'm going to hit them with some uh, detox hit. What can I reach down this way? Not much. So probably from the bottom, I'll do a few pots and, and that's it. I'm not going to touch these at all. Th these pots, I guess, could fall apart or something. I don't know. They're, they're voltage regulation pots. Some of them are anyway, from what I remember. So I'm not going to touch those. Anyway, 
I have a PS7 on order for this thing. I don't really want to fire it up without a PS7. For the transmitter, I have received on it fine with a 10 type power supply. And you can see where the fan was pulling in air here. It really goofed that up. The guy must have lived in like in a desert in a shack. Where does it come from? Try to think of where it came from. I don't remember. Oh, it came from uh, Nevada. So, uh, Ham, Ham and Hi-Fi sold this thing to me. He's a nice guy. And he got this thing, I think, from Portland. So, somebody died in Portland, I guess, and... The wife got rid of it and he picked it up. I don't know how he got it, but the guy in Portland, I mean, you think Portland would be like a place with, with moisture and it wouldn't have dust and all this crud. This guy, I, how do people live like this? <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, who am I to complain, right? I'm not perfect. I'm not perfect at all, so I shouldn't complain. All right, I'm going to stop the video and wish you a good day, and I'm going to try and carry on with what I'm doing. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.